Hi guys, it's Collector Noah here, and today we're opening more mystery packs, but today it's vintage mystery packs. We got these from addictamom.com, and it looks like they've left off a little note here. We upgraded you to near mint condition for some of the enclosed. Hope you love it. Okay, so we're doing this, and we're saving best for last. God pack will be the last and best. So, first we're going to open the first edition rare. This looks super cool. And it says, first edition rare, 1999 to 2003. So, it's super old. It is mint to near mint condition. And there's a 1 in 4 chance of a seeded first edition holographic. Every pack contain, contains one first edition rare, of course. And card has 25% chance of hollow first edition. We need to open, oh yeah, and on the back it looks super cool. It has a super cool design, it looks like it was put together very carefully and it says, Unearth treasure, relieve nostalgia, ignite thrills with addictum on card packs. So, so good, they're addictive. They're in a league of their own. Choose your odyssey, collector's edition packs, pristine near mint to mint marvels or budget packs, relics of play and passion. All collectibles are either directly sourced or repackaged by Dictamon. We operate as an in, as an independent entity, un, unaffiliated with individual man, manufacturer or trading card companies. Brace yourself, your, agen, your adrenaline charged nostalgia trip is a click away. Okay, so we're going to very carefully open this up i'm so excited for this okay yeah three two one the moment of truth what is in here okay well we've got a code card let's see the actual card oh dark wheezing let's go this looks super cool Looks like it's Team Rocket. Oh, look at this. This looks like it's really old. Okay, this. so this dark wheezing looks like it's really good condition. If we look at the back, it doesn't look like there's any white spots. So on the pack, it says mint to near mint condition. I would say that's absolutely right because there's no white spots at all. And the centering is really good. And here is the first edition stamp, so we can confirm this is definitely a first edition. Okay, Shadowless next. So, this is Shadowless base set, so, so base set, oldest ever. So this is heavy to light play, equal chance at every base set, that's good. Every pack contains one base set shadowless so that's good all cards have equal pull rates in w one in 20 contain holog holographics that's good and just like the other one this looks really cool same as the back okay let's get to opening this very careful One's a bit harder to open. Okay. So, probably going to get a code card. Ooh! Tangler! Okay, I guess we're not getting a code card. But look at this. This is really cool. This is what I mean by we, why they should go back to the old designs. Like, look how cool that looks. This Tangler looks super cool. As we can, So, it's not holographic. Okay, so the centering looks really good, but on the back there is a few scratches, but this is definitely not heavy play, this is definitely light play, so that's a really good bonus. Okay, so we have Wizards of the Coast Hollow. This is probably going to be really good. 1999 to 2003 it's heavy to light played 
equal chance at every Wizards of the Coast Hollow. So hopefully we can pull one of those. And every pack contains one Wizards of the Hollow holographic. All cards are randomly selected. In one in five are first edition. Hopefully we can get a first edition one. Like all the others, the design is really cool. I like the thing in the middle of the Pikachu face. Looks super sick. On the back, really cool again. Okay, let's get to opening this thing. These are older than me, so I have to be very careful when opening these. Okay. Ooh! Jolteon! Okay. Ooh, okay, we've got the code card. So this looks really cool. This Jolteon. I like it a lot. Oh, and it's a hollow! Okay, so this is really good. So on this Jolteon, uh, it's a, it has a slight bend in it and a few scratches on the hollow but they're only tiny and the bend is really slight on on the corners of the back we do have a few whites but nothing too major it's still a great card and i'm super happy that we got it i i'm i'm just i can't believe we got this i i love this card um it it is from the jungle set I'd say this is probably about light played again. Okay, so we have base set. We are nearly at the god pack. This is the last one until god. Okay, so it is heavy to light play condition again. Base set. Equal chance at every single hollow base set. That's good. Every pack contains one base set hollow. All 16 base set hollow cards have equal pull rates. Three, three and sixteen contain Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur. Like all the other ones, the pack looks amazing. Let's open it. Okay. Yeah. Also, leave your predictions of what's going to be in the God Pack in the comments. Oh, Gyarados! Let's go. Oh, look at, look at this. That is amazing. Look how cool that looks. It's a hollow. It looks super cool. The centering is really good. I can't really see, I don't think I can see any scratches on the hollow bit, which is good. On the back, we do have a few whites there and then, but it's nothing too major. So I've had a closer look and it look, looks like there is a few scratches on the top but nothing major. I'd say this is probably middle played. Luckily we haven't had any heavily played yet. So let's just hope there's none in the god pack. Okay. It's the moment of truth. The god pack. What we've all been waiting for. 1999 to 2003. Yeah? Heavily to lightly played cards. One in five seeded first edition holographic. Every pack contains one Wizards of the Coast Hollow, 20% first edition. One Wizards of the Coast Rare. One Wizards of the Coast first edition. One post Wizards of the Coast. And four un slash common Wizards of the Coast. So, this is going to be very good. So, very carefully we must open this. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try to pull out the first card. Ooh, we have a Spearow first. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do one card at a time. So it looks like we have a Spearow Jungle, and I'm pretty sure it means Jungle because of that symbol right there. So, yeah. So I think this is a Jungle. It's not a Hollow. But it doesn't look like it has any damage on the top. Nothing on the card. The centering is quite good. But it's like, but one side is, but it's tiny, the tiny little bit more to the right than the left. Okay. Ooh, on the back, there's like one singular scratch. 
like the top and corners so this is super good condition i'd say it doesn't look like there's any bends so this spear row is really good i'm super excited for what's to come i'd say this is probably about lightly played barely maybe even near mint so the next card Woo! slow bro okay so this should look really good so far it doesn't look like there's any scratch on the top or or the center it is really it's definitely not off center looks super cool and i like slow bro he's quite funny okay so on the back we have like a few scratches like a few whites, not really scratches, just whites. It has no bend, so this is in really good condition. It looks super cool, which is another reason why I think they should go back to like base set designs mixed with the new designs. This looks really cool. Uh, it has a little symbol there, which I'm pretty sure means this is from like fossil. Okay, yeah. This looks really good. I don't know if it's from Fossil, but I'm pretty sure that's what the symbol means. Okay, yeah. Next pack. Oh, yeah, and I'll tell you that one's probably near me. Even though it's heavily to lightly played cards, it barely have any damage. Okay, so we've got Shelder next. This is, I think, another Fossil. It looks really cool and shoulder I feel like it's just a funny Pokemon sticking his tongue out. So if it doesn't look like there's any scratches or anything at the front, it's it's bare it's like one millimetre off to the right, yep. So basically it's not off centre. Doesn't look like there's a bend to it. On the back there's barely any white. So this is an amazing condition card. I love the artwork of it, um, and I like Shoulder, so let's get, let's get him onto the pile of hits. Next one, hopefully we can get something really good. Ooh, Ekans! Snake! Okay, so we've got this really cool artwork of Ekans somehow flying. I don't know how he's doing that, but he is somehow. Oh my god, in his first edition. And I'm pretty sure that means fossil. I don't know if I'm right, but I feel like it, do it does. And also, I don't know what... And, e and even though first edition is good, it does say we should get a first edition. Which is really good. So, it doesn't look like there's any scratches. It doesn't look like it's off-centre. On the back? I can I can't see any white except for a few. Even though these say heavy to lightly heavily to lightly played cards, I think most of these are probably like near min maybe lightly played. So that's really good. That's a massive bonus. Doesn't look like we have a bench to it, so this is a really good card. I'm really happy with it. And I'm especially happy with what we have so far. Like, I, I actually can't believe we're getting such good cards. So, this is the second to last one. Your Vattle. Oh, 25th edition. That's a bonus. So, this is post Wizards of the Coast. 25th edition. I, I love the artwork on it. But, for some reason, it does look like one of the newer artworks. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any bends on it. It's not. It's not off center. Doesn't look like there's any scratches on the back. I can't really see any white, so it looks perfect. Not a bend to be seen. I really like the artwork of this card, and also if it's twenty fifth edition, that's always a good bo bonus. Okay. Yeah. Let's add this. I I can't believe what we've gotten. Like, this is amazing. It's the best opening I've ever done. 
and and this should be some of the oh Sabrina's Porygon like I was saying this should be some of the last so oh so I'm guessing that means it's Sabrina or like Team Plasma or something not too I'm pretty sure oh it's a first edition as well let's go that's really good and I think that means it's like Team Plasma what Sabrina's Porygon it doesn't look to be off center it's like centered I can't see any scratches on it it looks super cool I love the design on it and the technology design looks super cool floating through like a circuit board or something okay on the back ooh, that is quite a bit of white like there's not a, I mean it's not too bad but there's quite a bit so this is probably like middle played but there isn't a bend so yeah this sh I think this is middle played but I love the design on it and I'm super ha happy either way this is a super cool card okay we um we have like no room to put all these on we've got too many okay yeah this is like being an amazing video I can't believe we got these so next one we should have like this should be the, the third to last. Ooh! Yanima! Okay. The. Is he based off a dragonfly? I feel like he is. So, I like the design. It's pretty simple. But even though it's simple, it still looks good. So. Um. I do not know what that symbol means. It looks like a temple or something. I don't. But I don't think that was ever a set called temple. It's a basic Pokemon. Doesn't look like any, there's any bends. Doesn't look like there's any scratches. If we go back, there's a few whites. And because there's no bends or... And it's definitely... And it's not off-centre. I would say this is probably about lightly played. But I love the design on it. On this. And also, and also I just think Yanima is probably like one of the best pup bug Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Sadly, we are getting to the end of this, though. We are getting to the end of this Pokemon heaven. Okay, but we do have Villa Plume. Oh, a hollow as well. It's a hollow jungle card. That's good. So, it looks super cool. It's def I don't think it's off-centre. No scratches at all. I love the design on this. It's really simple. But I think it looks good. The only thing that's weird is it's a really simple background, but then it's like quite a detailed, kind of realistic Pokemon. If we look at it, it doesn't look like it's off centered, it doesn't look like it's got a bend. Ooh, on the back, it does have some white. Not a lot, though, nothing major. I'd say it's probably about lightly played. I love the design on this card. And Thomas actually, maybe Villa Plume is better than Yanima. Maybe Villa Plume is like is the best bug bug Pokemon. Uh, where to? Okay, I think this is the last one. Sadly. Oh no, no, that was the last one. Well, that was a good opening. Certainly, probably the best thing I've done. Also. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button with notifications on, and leave a comment down below telling me what was your favourite hair of all of these. If I had to choose, it would probably be the Gyarados or the Jolteon. I just love their designs. Thanks for watching, this is Collect Noah, tuning out.